الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه أما بعد. ثم يا dear brothers and sisters in Islam after when we praise Allah سبحانه وتعالى. I'm here to do some clarification about the video that I made about um the food when you go to the store what you should buy when we say you can buy the fish so you can buy chicken or or meat. So many people asking me questions. So when it comes to the Ahlul Kitab, the Jews people and the Christians, so we can eat their food. Allah سبحانه وتعالى says in the Quran. اليوم أحل لكم الطيبات وطعام الذين أوتوا الكتاب حل لكم وطعامكم حل لهم. so we can eat their food. what I was trying to say. so here we have some places or store they are أهل الكتاب Jews or Christians so you can eat their food. sometimes you may go to other stores they are مشركون you know they associate partner with Allah سبحانه وتعالى. so as long as you know you know you have clear proof and evidence that they are mushrikun they don't worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and when they slaughter they don't say the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we can't eat those food we can't eat those food you know when it comes to Sharia Islam it's very easy and simple so we should not make it hard or difficult on ourselves whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned by name that this is haram so we have to stay away from that like pork is haram Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that in the Quran Whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or the Prophet said, say, do not eat this. If you see this, you know, you can kill it. So, so we should not eat those things. And also, uh, there's hadith. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, Kullu dhi nabin min al-sibah is haram. Or kullu dhi makhlabin min al is haram. Like those animals, you know, jumping to, to other animals, you know, eating them like tiger or lion. We can't eat those animals. So when it comes to like, you know, the, uh, the birds, so I don't know the name in English. Some birds. We can't eat them either. Other than that, anything that is from Ahlul Kitab, Jews and Christians, we, we can eat those food. Some Sahaba came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They asked him, people will come to us. They will give us food to eat. But we don't know if they mention Allah's name while slaughtering those, uh, those animals. So we don't know if they mention Allah's name or not. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam replied and he said, Samullaha antum wa kuluhu. He said, just say Bismillah and eat the food. And also, lamb or sheep or goat, if someone slaughtered that, um, لِغَيْرِلَّهِ Someone slaughtered lamb for something else, not for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we can't eat that either. Even if it is lamb is halal, but we can't eat it. Let me ask you a question. If you have a Muslim woman, you know, with good character and deen, just like the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa mentioned, so, do you prefer to marry the Muslim woman or do you prefer to marry the Jews or the Christian? Of course, you should marry the Muslim. But that doesn't mean it's haram to marry from their, from their woman, like just Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran. Let's say if you have like two stores you know, near you, so uh, the, uh, one of them, they are Muslim, you know, they slaughter their animals and they say Bismillah, and you know them, mashallah, tabarakallah, and one of them, they are uh, Jews or Christians, so they slaughter their animals also. So, which one will you prefer to buy? your lamb or to buy your good from. Of course, it's the Muslim store. So if you have that option, go for the Muslim to get yourself out of doubt. When it comes to this masala, it's really, really deep and wide topic. So I don't want to, you know, say much in it because, you know, I'm in this key and I'm not the one who should talk about this topic, but I just want to make clarification. That's the only reason why I'm taking this video. If not, there's so many ulama out there, there's scholars out there we should ask. So if you have any question about this, Ask you know, all my scholars, do not ask me. So I'm just trying that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us beneficial knowledge. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us for our shortcomings and for our mistakes. Anything that I said was good, it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And anything that I said was bad, it is from myself and shaitan. Fa innahu rajeem. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Shadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk.